Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and today we're gonna go eat at a restaurant called Charcoal, which is an amazing Indian restaurant in Bangkok that specializes in all food cooked in a fire-powered clay tandoor oven. Another thing that I'm very excited to try is they have this gigantic naan, which is literally the size of a table. It's like a blanket of naan. That is huge. Uh, we're gonna head back into the kitchen, we're gonna see some of the cooking, and I cannot wait to eat and share all of the food with you in this video. Pray Rock, right? Yes, Pray Rock. And you're the sir. manager? I'm the manager. Of very nice sir. to meet you. Nice meeting you too, sir. Thank you for having us today. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to Charcoal. <laughs> Basically, the food in the Charcoal, what we are serving, is like a Northwest frontier cuisine inspired by like the people who live, live, live in the wild and then like to have a stay in the mountain, uh, mountain. And the people love to come down for the hunting for the dinner time. And they used to share with the entire family of that. They have to cook all the food in the like the charcoal and the wooden. We basically, try to give the same authentic taste of the charcoal, the, all the kebabs coming from the tandoor. And we have some of the dishes which be inspired by the royal Mughals. So okay. there are the, some of the recipe, I like to inform you in the Mughal time, the people not share because the chef is especially cooked for the kings. Now some of the chef who share their recipes and then you know deliver to their generations. So awesome. we have got some of the recipes which really specialty of the Mughals okay. that also we are serving here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was that. awesome. I'm editing the video right now, but if you're enjoying this video, could you please help me out by giving this video a thumbs up, clicking that like button. It will only take you one second and it will really be a huge help. So thank you in advance for clicking thumbs up. Standing here next to this charcoal, this charcoal tundra, you can just feel the heat radiating out of here. So much heat is produced, so much heat is built up inside of the clay oven. Uh, wow, it's like volcanic hot coming out of there. And so Chef is going to get started on some of the kebabs. Uh, what are you going to make first, Chef? Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, I make uh, murangar. Okay. okay. So this one is chicken? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a chicken. Ah, okay. And then marinate with uh, ginger garlic paste, malt vinegar, and uh, salt. All right. The first kebab goes in, and already you can smell those spices. Like that's chicken marinated in chili there. You can smell the vinegar in there, the different variety of spices. Um, yeah, that smells incredible already. What is this one, Chef? This is a malai broccoli. Tandoori marai broccoli. Okay. Marinate with castanet, cheese, cream, and uh, mace and cardamom powder. This is the whole lamb of leg. Ah. Marinate with uh, small vinegar, salt, red chili powder, and a whole masala, and cook under overnight. Four hours. Oh, it's already been all almost four hours. Chicken dari ram. Yeah. Okay, so it's a whole leg of lamb yes. that's already been uh, marinated and pre-cooked for a few hours, right? Yeah, yeah, four hours. For four hours already pre-cooked, so it's already it's already cooked. Uh, but then they take it off the bone, and he's gonna finish it in the, yeah, the tandoor, tandoor, right? Yeah, right? And give it that smoky heat, that roasted, amazing charcoal flavor. <laughs> So this is a lobster? Lobster, yeah. Get it oh. in lobster, yeah. You're gonna put this into the tandoor also? Yeah, sir. It's awesome. I didn't know we were gonna get a lobster too. Lobster cook, cooked in the tandoor oven. And so it just wraps it in foil and it drops it directly onto the hot coals. Yeah, lobster. Okay. Lobster and meat. And I'm going to marinate it. Yeah, lemon juice. Okay. Salt.
And again, what is amazing is that there's no temperature gauge, there's no automatic setting for the Tandoor ovens. It's just by knowledge, it's by experience. Um, and something about the Tandoor, because it's so hot, is that it just scorches the outside of the meat, leaving the inside so juicy and so moist, which I can already guarantee that smells incredible. The spices, the marinade. Oh, that was so fast. Yeah. Within, wow, five minutes? Broccoli cooked in the Tandoor. body of the lobster was taken out of the shell, cut into pieces. Uh, chef gave it a simple marinade, some spices, some masala, some salt, some lime juice, and some ginger and garlic paste. Put it onto a skewer and the lobster is going to be roasted in the tandoor as well. And then that's, I think it's going to be refilled back into that shell. Oh, it's so juicy. That smells incredible. The oily juices are just dripping out of them as they just rest before we eat. Is it like a dal makani? Yeah, dal. I like the dal makani, but okay. not dal makani. They go cook overnight, a little 24 hours. Ah, okay. Yeah, black lentils. Yeah. Black lentils. Okay. Oh, that's cream. Chef is also going to be making some biryani, lamb biryani, and so he has this almost stew or already a curry prepared from lamb, which you can already see the tenderness of it. You can smell the cardamom. Yeah. Cardamom in there? Cardamom. Yeah, cardamom, mess powder, powder. Royal cumin seeds, yellow chili powder, cardamom and mess powder. And a little water. Wow. Mint. Leaves, brown onion, a ginger julienne here. Basmati rice? Yeah, basmati rice. And again, it's all by knowledge, it's all by experience. Oh man, all of a sudden that's like a straight up, that is a straight up steam room. Wow, yeah, that is just a blast of humidity. And then before we start eating, Chef is going to make the gigantic naan. It literally covers the entire table. It is huge. It's like the size of a tablecloth. You could use it as a blanket. How many normal sized naans is the giant naan? Uh, tandoori naan is uh, 150 grams. The normal size, this is the family naan, that's the biggest size, yeah. This is the biggest, how many, how many grams is it? One kilo? Uh, uh, yeah, almost, uh, 800. 800 grams, grams okay. Yeah. rolling it out you can see the elasticity of it you're really having to pull it having to stretch it out that's going to be huge
onion seeds. Oh, onion seeds. Yeah, golden seeds. Wow. Oh man, and huge props to Chef. That, to make that family-sized giant naan, that takes so much effort and energy. He wraps it like a blanket into the inside of that tandoor oven. Insane skills. Oh, that smells good. Oh, it's starting to bubble up and blister up now. That's butter? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that smells so good, yeah. Oh, butter on fire. <laughs> Biggest non you've ever seen you? Chef had pre-cooked the kebabs, but before it goes on the plate, before it gets delivered to your table, it goes for a quick flash heating session in the tandoor. Oh, that sizzle. Wow, that's butter, right? Wow, for that lamb, that is insane. He uh, chops it up into pieces. You can see the juiciness, yet how it's charred on the outside. Uh, mixes it with some seasoning, tosses that. The oily juiciness is out of control and then puts it back onto the bone. And the last one is the lobster. Here's some butter. This is a lemon juice. Oh, and this is actually like a, a yeah, bib, I mean, right? I mean, yeah, I will have it. Oh, okay. Time. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Generally, we're not to like in the in our restaurants. Normally, we are not giving the cutleries of that but we just ah. we just have it because it's what happened the people love to enjoy the, with the fingers of the food of the Indian. for sure for that's sure right so this like giving more like you know giving so, to this authentic so it's in, it's right. encouraged to eat with your fingers exactly right? okay. but the people like I'm to okay. have it with the folks so we normally giving this one i'm okay with fingers i'm very okay with fingers and at first i thought this was a napkin but it's actually a bib oh that's way more useful than a napkin Right as I was tearing into my first bite of naan, somehow I lost the audio connection on the microphone. But that's okay, I took a bite of that naan, oh man, and the naan 
it had this incredible texture because of the way it was cooked. It was so flaky and crispy on the outside edges and so gooey on the inside. And then the first main dish that I tried though is the chicken kebab, uh, which was just caked in spice. And it was, oh man, the amount of flavor just condensed onto the outside and also reaching all the way to the center of that chicken was incredible. Oh, that crispiness. He said to add some of the mint chutney, really complements the chicken kebab well. Douse it in the chutney. Oh wow, you have the mint, the coriander in there. And that's like a punch of a little bit of acidity and saltiness. I might just add some onions to this and maybe wrap it in naan. With some of the chutney. That is straight up like irresistibly tasty. Let's try the lamb. And again, that incredible technique of how it was cooked and cooked again and almost like three times cooked with all the spices, the layering of the tandoor oven, and even the finishing touches where he chopped it up, where he sprinkled it with masala powder, uh, where he then sprinkled on some lemon juice and some butter. Wow. Oh yeah, that's, that is unbelievable. You do taste that vinegar. It brings out the umami of the meat and it's so tender, yet at the same time you can feel all the strings. You can feel the, the fibers of that lamb. Oh, that's spectacular. And then next up, I gotta try the lobster. And again, the technique of cooking this was incredible as well. And you can see how just flaky and stringy that lobster is. Oh, wow. You can, did you try the lobster yet? Oh man, you can taste the butter in it, like the smoky caramelized butter in it from being roasted in the tandoor. The masala, the lemon juice. Oh man, that's rich, that's sweet and salty. Okay, and then finally we have the broccoli, which um, I think there's some yogurt or some uh, cream in the marinade and then also uh, cashew. Cashew and spices and perfectly roasted until golden. What turns out immediately in there, you taste the cardamom and the mace and the crunch of the broccoli. It's so good. Tear off another piece of naan. I want to get that center where there's a higher concentration of butter and seasonings. I want to try that dal. I love dal. So this is the charcoal specialty dal. The creamy, thick richness of that. It's rich, you just, again, you taste the layers of smokiness. Oh wow. The, the hint of a sourness from that cream, the richness of the butter. Oh, that's just soothing, that is comfort. Wow, it's still hot. You can see it look like normal, but everything is inside. All the, the flavor bottom. is inside. Yeah. All spices of lamb. So the reason behind to put the, put the pastry and to seal this, so this is called the dum biryani. Okay. So, they, so when it's sealed completely packed, the, the smoke of the flavor of the spices stay inside. Okay. The saffron in there, the spices, the mace and the cardamom, the tender lamb, and just how fluffy that rice is. The rice is so fluffy. Yeah. And you see, you can, it's fall out of the bone. The meat is so soft. It's so soft. You can smell the saffron, rose water. Oh yeah, the rose water that he sprinkled in there. He yes. sprayed with a spray bottle. Oh man, and the fluffiness of it is just amazing. Yeah. I want to have a massage in this aroma. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, the tenderness of that lamb. Oh, you could just, you could just press your fingers together and it will just collapse. It just falls apart. And again, that fluffiness, the saffron in there. Oh wow, that's hot, yes. Oh, it's really hot. Wow. 
we're going to have to eat fast. Oh, wow. That just melts in your mouth. The juiciness of the lamb, the fluffiness of the rice, all of those spices mingle together in, the, in that clay pan. The rose water, the cardamom, the mace in there. And then you mentioned to eat this with the, the raita which complements it well, which is like a mix of yogurt and some spices, I believe. Just look at the way that lamb just falls apart. And it's so hot. It tastes so good because it's so hot, so fresh. I've got a green chili here. I'm gonna chase, this would be the perfect complement. The richness of the biryani, followed by that just burst of green chili heat and freshness. It's so huge. <laughs> okay, we're gonna sit here. Uh, we are gonna keep on eating this amazing food. Try to finish the entire uh, bed sheet naan. It's just deep flavor. It's still hot after like being on there for 30 minutes. Okay, you have to see close up inside this chicken just how incredibly flaky and juicy it is. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, the aroma. Just a poof of aromatic smokiness and spices just erupts when you tear into that chicken. Some of the mint chutney on the side there. Oh, with the chutney. I can't believe how hot it remains. We've already been eating for 30 minutes. So final touch, stick the green, you poke it inside. Oh wow, that is the perfect bite at charcoal. Oh man, what a meal. I am stuffed, that was extraordinary. That was just delicious. Thank you. Dessert, that's called tree of life. Tree of life, tree dessert? Tree of life, that's right. So this is something special of our restaurants. Wow. That's right. So, say mango tree? A mango tree. Mango tree of life. So this tree of life is a sign of the growth and prosperity. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow, the display is incredible. Um, and so it's actually uh, an ice cream which is made from Alfonso mangoes, which are some of the most famous mangoes in all of India. And I'm gonna just dig into this Alfonso mango. Oh yeah. Oh, and oh wow, the just sweet and tart and creaminess of that. Yeah, I have to admit that just tastes incredibly good, especially because we ate all the kebabs, which are salty and full of spices. And then to end on something that's cool, that's refreshing, that's fruity, that's tart. Oh, that's sweet, cleans your palate, and is a phenomenal way to end your meal. has come. I never wanted this moment to end. I never wanted to take off the bib. Huge thank you to Prarak and Praveen and Deandra and all of the staff for taking extremely good care of us. The restaurant is located at Fraser Suites which is a hotel and a residence uh, are located right at Nana, right in the heart of Bangkok. Uh, definitely, well, highly recommended for Indian food, but with a unique twist and a unique story and an amazing concept.
I'll have all of their information in the description box below and I want to say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Bangkok. Huge thank you again to Charcoal and I will see you on the next video.